Um, next is to consider entering into a legal agreement with the other Shelby County cities on consolidation lawsuit. Uh, I met with the uh, municipal mayors. They have met with their attorneys and their boards. Uh, they will be voting in the next two weeks at the regular meetings uh, to enter into this or not. So for tonight, since there's been some questions as to whether the other municipalities have actually cast a vote on it. So uh, for tonight, I'd just like to discuss this and then we'll vote on it at the next next regular meeting if that's approved with the board. Could I have some more questions? Okay. So that being the case, I'll open the floor from the alderman for questions. Or, Mr. Lapidus, would you like to make some opening remarks? Well, the only thing I would really have to say at this point is that I think Mark Norris suggested that, and I, and I think Tom Cates, who is the Germantown and Cogerville city attorney, back oh, a couple months ago, suggested that there was some need for speed in making these decisions for the reason that you don't want the court to get too far down the road and say that the motions to intervene were not timely filed. But I think you can see from what's happened, or maybe from what's not happened, which is that none of Bartlett, Germantown, or Collierville have actually voted on this, even though there's been a lot of discussion. Um, I don't think we have forever. But I would like to see what they are going to do about this. I, I got no problem with that, but they're, they're definitely going to vote on it. And we'll, they've got all indications are they're 100% favor of it. Yeah, but that's we can wait there. And, and when it gets to the point of a vote, you will need to vote if there is any actual written agreement among all the suburban municipalities and to a, a vote on intervening. And at some point, the budget will have to be amended to take care of the expenses of the intervention. You know, my question is this. After reading through the judges, rendering on this that says it's not a moot case. Um, I think they've got a pretty good chance of winning their case. You know, I'll, I mean, it could go either way, but when you look at the, the way that the judge talked about it, they've probably got a good chance to win it. And if they win it and we're intervening, then we're liable for the plaintiff's legal fees in addition to our legal fees. Is that not correct? That's what Mr. Tate said. And That's what he said. That's what concerns me is we're, it, it's, it's, it could mount up, it, you're talking about going to the Supreme Court, you're talking about big bucks. I mean, how much are we talking about, a couple hundred thousand dollars? I, mean, I don't know. I, I don't know either, and I don't really know how to evaluate it. I have been told a number of times that there's been some discussion about the cost of this and how it might be let me just make this clear. I think what the judge meant when he said this is not moot. Mootness is when something is over with and there's nothing left to decide. There is no case or controversy under the law to be decided. But there are exceptions to the mootness doctrine. And one of them is when a, an issue is capable of coming back again and not just theoretically, but looks like it might. So what I think the judge was saying is that given that there have been, you know, there's been more than one vote on yeah, consolidation, this is likely to come back again, and it happened so fast in the electoral cycle that there is not time for a case to make it through the whole judicial process, not only the trial court level, but also um, at a higher an appellate court level, and maybe even the U.S. Supreme Court level. So his saying that it's not moot does not necessarily mean that he thinks the plaintiffs are going to win in this case. It means that he thinks this issue needs to be decided. Well, I think when you look at some of the facts they pointed out, I think he's got a good chance of Now, is there any chance to put in the lawsuit that the plaintiffs pay our legal fees if they lose? I don't think so. I think that is a matter of federal law. Is it? I don't, and I don't think it would give us 
us the right to get our fees back. What, what would be the advantage of doing this friend of the court instead of uh, inter intervention? The advantage of doing a friend of the court is that you, don't, you are not a party to the lawsuit, and therefore you would not have the liability for if the plaintiffs win for paying their fees and expenses. You just get a liability for your own fees. Just right. Would the fees for that be the same as the intervention fees except for the plaintiff's fees? Um, Pretty much. Probably not. I mean, the fees right of brief as a friend of the court, that's basically all you're doing. You're not preparing a case. You're not uh, having the lawyers and their assistants do any investigation into your own private, you know, your own unique uh, circumstances. And no one is arguing in court. You're, they're simply writing what is basically a brief and submitting that to the court. Um, I want to take a look at some notes I have just to see. Ms. Lapid, it's kind of building on what Mr. Carrillo was saying that's that was where I think because to me an amicus brief in a case like this you still get to state your point of objection to why you think this is not maybe right but at the same time it, it appears that you avoid all the liability associated with it this thing eventually is lost so I mean we don't have a specific reason for intervention other than what the state's already stated I mean the very I think but the reason they what they've stated is our very contention as it is. So what else would we be adding to the argument by intervening? I mean, the whole idea is that we would have a specific reason of argument to intervene, and I'm trying to think what would that be other than what's already been stated. Well, I, what you don't get with friend of the court brief is you're not a part of the proceedings, okay. and you don't have the right uh, unless somebody from Millington is called as a witness by the parties to the case. Um, you don't have the right to have anyone argue on your behalf or state your case in the in the trial proceedings or the appellate proceedings. So, I mean, all that we lose is if we do decide at some future point that there's something beyond what is being already stated through the, the case right now that we would not be able to interject in at that point. But, if they're, but as it states right now, though, what they're stating is our objection as it is. I mean, there, there's not something different that we're going to say, well, you stated all this, but here's our three points that we feel like also contribute to this lawsuit. I mean, we don't have anything. All we're saying is we, we, occur, we agree with what you're saying, and to me, that's where the brief it serves us well in conjunction of saying, yeah, we do agree with this, and here's why we concur. Is that not correct? line of thinking? I mean, if we're not really adding anything, why would we join in? What, what I would really need to do and want to do in order to, to advise you well is to talk to my partner, Ed McKinney, because I don't do any litigation. And so, I, I mean, I, what I know, I know from what other people have said to me and from law school 25 years ago. And I really would like... Before if what you're asking for is my advice on which is a better way to go, I would really like to talk with Ed and, and maybe with another litigator in our firm in order to say to you, in, in addition to what else has been said, here, here's our best advice. And I guess what I'm I guess getting to the bottom line, what I guess I'm trying to say is what specifically would Millington be intervening to say that we have that's a contention different than what's already been stated? Well, whatever, and one of the things that Mark Morris said is that each party, and this I know is the case, each party who wants to intervene, that is each of Millington, Arlington, Lakeland, Germantown, Collierville, Bartlett, whoever, will there will be a decision by the court, is that municipality a proper intervener in this case? And what I think the court looks at, and, and this is 